Hello everyone, so welcome you all to Ashok Tutorials Meghalaya's first empty channel. So today, as you know that we are dealing with health education of class 10, right? So today we shall be discussing unit 2 diseases. Chapter 1 is already over, right? So today we shall be discussing an extra chapter. You know, an extra chapter is given in addition to chapter 1 by the government of India for our general knowledge or general awareness all right so this chapter is you know very interesting and very easy to understand and you know uh, it's very unique special and very very you know like uh, uh, personally i really love this chapter so i believe that you will also enjoy the chapter so let's see what we have so the very name of the chapter is mission indra dhanush now mission means what mission means the aim the, it is like something we want to achieve, right? Then what about what about Indra Dhanush? Indra Dhanush means the rainbow. What is that? The rainbow. So how many colors are there in a rainbow? Can you name them? Please name them if you remember. So what is the short form or what is the you know uh, what do we call it? Uh, mnemonics we use for uh, the different colors. It's Vibjir, right? Vibjir means what? Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So how many colors are there in a rainbow? Yes, you are right. There are seven colors, right? Very good. So mission Indra Dhanush. So why, you know, why this mission is known as like uh, Indra Dhanush or why this mission is known as a rainbow. So we shall be discussing about it in the later part right let's see what we have so as we continue we can see the introduction so in the, in the introduction what do we have so on the 25th of december 2014 the ministry of health and family welfare of the government of india launched mission indra dhanush a health mission aimed at achieving full immunization coverage against childhood diseases for all children see According to this mission, according to Mission Indra Dhanush, see, this mission was, you know, it came into effect on the 25th of December 2020, I mean 2014. Now, what do we celebrate on the 25th of December? Yes, you are right. We celebrate Christmas, right? So, on the eve, or not on, the, yes, on the eve of uh, 25th December every year we celebrate Christmas right so this in the Dhanush mission also came up in December 25 2014 so I believe that you will not forget the date right so try to remember the date that it came up on Christmas day right so according to mission in the Dhanush it believes that Achievement of full immunization coverage against childhood diseases for all children. Now, what do you understand by immunization? So, as I have already explained in chapter 1, immunization means to eradicate the disease, to avoid the disease or to prevent oneself from the possible diseases, right? So, uh, uh, one common example I can give you is that polio. All of you know what a polio is, right? So, polio is a disease which is caused you know due to certain reasons right so i will not go you know i will not go explaining what is polio what are the different type of diseases which is caused if a child is not immunized those things i'll discuss in a later part so now in this i just want to make sure that you understand that mission in the dhanush it focuses on immunization so preventing the disease and how it prevents the disease by immunizing the child by giving the immunity boosters or giving the uh, you know injections or giving the drops against the different types of possible diseases all right let us see be wise get your child fully immunized see why mission indra dhanush named thus so you might be wondering now Hare, why this mission indra dhanush is known as mission indra dhanush why it is not not known as by any other name right 
so let us see mission indradhanush depicts the seven colors of the rainbow as i already told you right so in the beginning the mission aimed at the immunization of all children against seven preventable diseases see now why they named it indradhanush as you know that in a rainbow we have seven colors so you know they are focusing mainly on the seven types of diseases how many types of diseases seven types of diseases that's why we call it a indradhanush all right so let us see what are the different type of uh, what are the different seven types of diseases from which you know mission indradhanush will be you know protecting the children so the number one is diphtheria then pertussis then tetanus childhood tuberculosis polio hepatitis b and measles right how many seven types diphtheria pertussis tetanus childhood tuberculosis polio hepatitis b and measles right so in selected states children are now provided vaccines of japanese encephalitis and hemophilus influenza type b see in some of the states states of our country even the vaccines against japanese encephalitis and hemophilus influenza type b are also provided in addition to these seven types of diseases all right great so why mission indradhanush is critical for our health system now you might be wondering are why why do we need mission indradhanush for our health system so let us see the reason in a nation there is always waging a war against childhood death and disability immunization is one of the most cost effective public health interventions against it see our country india is still known as a developing country right and we know that india is the most populated country in the world our country is number 1 in terms of population so when you know that a country is having so much population therefore the demand will be high right the demand for food the demand for shelter the demand demand for water the demand for you know basic commodities the demand for uh, medicines will always be high so that and we also know that our country is a kind of poor country right we do not have that much of economic strength as as other countries so that's why what do we have to do is that we have to immunize the children and how do we do it by following the steps or you know the mission given by indradhanush so you know like um, see it is we always know that it is better to prevent than prevention is better than cure right all of you know that prevention is better than cure which means if you know that you might be getting you there is a tendency that you might get certain diseases then why not you know prevent that disease so if we prevent that disease then there will be no need for precaution right there will be no you know there will be no need to cure that disease because you will not get this disease and you all are familiar with polio drops do boon zindagi ki how many boons how many drops two boons right two drops so do boon zindagi ki so just that if you take two drops of polio during your childhood you know you are never going to suffer with any kind of you know disabilities right in 1985 in 1985 the government of india launched universal immunization program uip so you have to remember this full form uip means universal immunization program when did the government of india launched it they launched it in the year 1985 right to ensure what to ensure that every child gets full immunization against preventable diseases it was one of the largest health programs of its kind in the world right so uip was one of the largest health program initiated by the government of india right now see in the picture you can see a child is taking polio drops right 
so you all have taken polio drops i believe even i have taken so you also might have taken right however over the next 30 years the program was able to fully immunize only 65 percent children in the first year of their life now see over three decades three decades means how many years 30 years so however over the next 30 years the program was successful only 65 percent which means out of 100 percent only 65 people 65 percent of the people or the children was successfully immunized and the rest percentage were not you know they were not uh, what do we call it immunized all right so 65 plus 35 how much 5 5 10 yes so it comes 100 right so 35 percent were not immunized why why so why they are not immunized let us see so it was with the aim to strengthen the existent program that mission indra dhanush was launched so we believe that mission indra dhanush was launched to improve the health quality of the citizens of the country right full immunization prevents the large scale of outbreak of diseases see we all have suffered with covid 19 right coronavirus attack so we all have suffered we have lost our friends during that time we have lost the citizens of the country right many people have lost their lives during covid 19 outbreak so now you know in order to prevent these kind of diseases immunization is done so as you know that we all have to take the doses right to prevent covid 19 so covid shield and co vaccine uh, vaccinations were given right two doses were given so i believe that your parents might have might have already taken the covid 19 vaccines even i have taken and i believe that even you have taken it right so it also keeps these diseases under control in an area so when one gets immunized you know these diseases control in a wide area suppose uh, the people of a village takes the medicines then the entire village is safe protected right if india is successful in carrying out this child immunization program it would help to reduce the child mortality rates this will help india progress on socioeconomic indicators now see they are saying that if india is able to take care of its people then you know there will be less mortality rate what is mortality mortality means death death rate will be less all right natality means born and mortality means death so you will see many times when you go to hospitals no you will see it will be written on the van mortality van mortality van means the van which carries the you know the dead body of the people all right so mortality m o r t a l i t y mortality right mortality means death so now let's see what is given in this small box so grim reality of the immunization scene in india so they are you know trying to give a gist about the reality of how immunization was done so every year in india five lakh children die due to diseases which could be prevented with vaccine see now sadly every year all right every year how many people die every year you know every year five lakhs how many lakhs five lakhs children die due to diseases and what type of diseases they die of diseases which could have been prevented if those five lakh children were given the those five lakh children were given vaccination you know now one out of three children in india could, does not receive all vaccines that are available under the uip now see what happens in our country we know that india is a rural country or a developing country so we have lots of villages right so in a village people you know they have they have myths they believe they do not believe they are type of orthodox they do they do not believe in modern science they do not believe in biology they do not believe in all this right the health facilities 
so they do not come forward to take the vaccination when when the pe- when the people are given polio vaccines they do not come out of their house they do not go to polio booth right i don't know what they are scared of so in this case like in this way what happens is that you know their children they are affected and at the end of the day they die so as people as educated people as good citizens of the country india we should always you know make ourselves you know uh, educated and we should take the advantage of all the government schemes given to us like polio vaccinations or covid-19 vaccinations right now 5% of children in urban areas and 8% in rural areas are not immunized see now this is a very big number which means 5% of the people in urban areas means those living in cities towns they do not receive immunization and 8% of the children living in villages or rural areas are not immunized right they are not taking the immunization now another 89 lakh children are at danger because they are either partially immunized or not at all immunized against vaccine preventable diseases now see 89 lakh do you know how much is 89 lakh so much almost a crore right almost a crore so 89 lakh children are partially immunized partially immunized means what it means that suppose if somebody is you know we have to take two doses of covid-19 dose one and dose two but some of us have taken dose one only right so those are called partially immunized which means only 50% is done so that person will be fully immunized only if that person takes two doses of covid-19 right so likewise polio drops are given up to certain age so some some children they take only you know only in the when they are 2 years or 1 year and then they don't take so those kind of called partially immunized and some are you know totally they you know they totally prevent taking the immunization which means they don't even take first dose so those are called not at all immunized or vaccinated all right now let us see goals of mission indradhanush so what is the aim what is the objective what is the goal the mission was launched with a focus on intervention to expand full coverage in india from 65% in 2014 to at least 90% children in the next 5 years see the mission in indradhanush aim or goal was to you know cover all the children from 65% in 2014 to 90% in 2019 all right the the government aim to do this through special catchy campaign see now you know that whenever there is different kind of programs or scheme coming up then what happens the health ministers the health officers health the doctors they go to villages and they organize different type of programs and you know they organize different type of schemes or campaigns like and in that way the villagers are educated right then it was decided that painstaking planning public mobilization efforts and intensive training for health workers would be conducted primarily in high risk areas identified by polio eradication program and areas with low routine immunization coverage see the it was decided that you know the main focus will be on the villages or on the areas which have high risk children which have not been ever you know immunized or vaccinated so that where that was the planning in the first phase what happened the first phase took place from april 2015 to july 2015 so 201 high focus districts across the country were targeted so in the first phase which happened from april to july 2015 201 high focus districts across the country were targeted for vaccination all right so now there is another box let us see what we have here so many districts have come up with unique steps to ensure the success of mission indradhanush so 
many states of the country have participated in making Mission Indradhanush a successful one, right? So the Betul district in Madhya Pradesh is one such example. So the district called Betul in Madhya Pradesh in MP, you know, it played a significant role because the people were educated and the people came forward in making the mission in the Dhanush a successful one by taking participation in vaccination or a vaccination campaign. The thing that made this district stand out was its commitment and innovation in utilization, utilizing all the resources to make mission in the Dhanush a success. See, the people of this village or of this district called Betul were very enthusiastic and very positive, you know, they supported the government scheme now among other things they ensure that there was a proper route chart for vaccine delivery and may and making by district immunization and you know to make this program a successful one proper arrangements were done division for maximum reach the district collector ensured that no session site went without stock so the deputy commissioners you know the adcs the dcs the collectors they made enough they made they work very hard they ensured that you know that there are different type of sessions the positive sessions and all the maximum villages they participate so that they understand the you know pros and cons of how to prevent this disease and why there is a need to prevent this disease with the mission in the Dhanush. the enthusiasm of the people was very evident when one visited the session site that were decorated with hand painted posters and wall paintings now you see whenever you go to hospital you can see different type of posters there right posters paintings sketches so you know why are they drawn they are drawn because they are you know they act as learning aids or they act as information chart so which means when you are just sitting at hospitals or you are just you can you you observe a poster or you observe a photo or you observe a you know banner you come to know what are the things available for you what are the advantages available for you what are the new schemes whom to reach out where the contact look you know where is the contact number whom to contact what is the location who is the you know authentic uh, person who will be practicing that so everything is written right so likewise for the mission in the news also enthusiastic people were you know the one who acted as pioneer in order to make this program a successful one now impacts of mission indra dhanush now what are the impact let us see what are the effects so a total of 528 districts have been covered under mission indra dhanush during the various phases so how many districts you have to remember the number 528 districts were covered now in october 2017 what happened the government of India launched Intensified Mission Indra Dhanush IMI. What is that? Intensified Mission Indra Dhanush. When? Which year? October. When? 2017. The government of India, they launched IMI in selected district and urban areas of the country with an aim to achieve the target of more than 90% coverage in immunization. Right? Now, the primary focus groups of the IMI program are the children up to the two years of age and pregnant women who have missed out on routine immunization see now what does this intensified mission Indra Dhanush targeted it targeted the children of the age two years so it targeted the children of two years and it also targeted the pregnant women targeted for what targeted to give them proper immunization or vaccination However, uh, however, however, should there be any request of vaccination of any child up to five years, it would be provided during IMI rounds. See, now the basic target or the main target of this IMI was intensified mission in the Dhanush was to was to you know cure or was to not to cure was to vaccinate the child up to two years and the pregnant women. But it does not mean that other childrens other children they cannot take the advantage it also you know provided assistance or, or it also vaccinated or you know have given the immunization to the children up to the age of five all right 
so two years five years and pregnant women were covered under imi rounds right yes so this is the end of this chapter so i hope it was clear for you to understand easy for you to understand what mission indra dhanush is all right so i hope it was clear any doubt please do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to hit that like button and kindly share and subscribe to ashok tutorials thank you everyone